Share Databricks Certified Data Analyst Associate Exam Questions for Preparation 1. A data analyst has set up a SQL query to run every 4 hours on a SQL endpoint. But the SQL endpoint is taking too long to start up with each run. Which of the following changes can the data analyst make to reduce the startup time for the endpoint while managing costs? A. Reduce the SQL endpoint cluster size. B. Increase the SQL endpoint cluster size. C. Turn off the auto stop feature. D. Increase the minimum scaling value. E. Use a serverless SQL endpoint. Answer. E. 2. A data analyst has created a query in Databricks SQL, and now they want to create two data visualizations from that query and add both of those data visualizations to the same Databricks SQL dashboard. Which of the following steps will they need to take when creating and adding both data visualizations to the Databricks SQL dashboard? A. They will need to alter the query to return two separate sets of results. B. They will need to add two separate visualizations to the dashboard based on the same query. C. They will need to create two separate dashboards. D. They will need to decide on a single data visualization to add to the dashboard. E. They will need to copy the query and create one data visualization per query. Answer. B. 3. How can a data analyst determine if query results were pulled from the cache? A. Go to the Query History tab and click on the text of the query. The slide-out shows if the results came from the cache. B. Go to the Alerts tab and check the cache status alert. C. Go to the Queries tab and click on Cache Status. The status will be green if the results from the last run came from the cache. D. Go to the SQL Warehouse, formerly SQL Endpoints, tab and click on Cache. The cache file will show the contents of the cache. E. Go to the Data tab and click Last Query. The details of the query will show if the results came from the cache. Answer. A. 4. Which of the following is a benefit of Databricks SQL using ANSI SQL as its standard SQL dialect? A. It has increased customization capabilities. B. It is easy to migrate existing SQL queries to Databricks SQL. C. It allows for the use of Photon's computation optimizations. D. It is more performant than other SQL dialects. E. It is more compatible with Spark's interpreters. Answer. B. 5. A data analyst wants to create a dashboard with three main sections, development, testing, and production. They want all three sections on the same dashboard, but they want to clearly designate the sections using text on the dashboard. Which of the following tools can the data analyst use to designate the development, testing, and production sections using text? A. Separate endpoints for each section. B. Separate queries for each section. C. Markdown based text boxes. D. Direct text written into the dashboard in editing mode. E. Separate color palettes for each section. Answer. C. 6. In which of the following situations should a data analyst use higher order functions? A. When custom logic needs to be applied to simple, unnested data. 
B when custom logic needs to be converted to Python native code. C when custom logic needs to be applied at scale to array data objects. D when built-in functions are taking too long to perform tasks. E when built-in functions need to run through the catalyst optimizer. Answer. C. 7. Which of the following statements about adding visual appeal to visualizations in the visualization editor is incorrect? A. Visualization scale can be changed. B. Data labels can be formatted. C. Colors can be changed. D. Borders can be added. E. Tooltips can be formatted. Answer. D. 8. A data engineering team has created a structured streaming pipeline that processes data in micro-batches and populates gold-level tables. The micro-batches are triggered every minute. A data analyst has created a dashboard based on this gold-level data. The project stakeholders want to see the results in the dashboard updated within one minute or less of new data becoming available within the gold level tables. Which of the following cautions should the data analyst share prior to setting up the dashboard to complete this task? A. The required compute resources could be costly. B. The gold level tables are not appropriately clean for business reporting. C. The streaming data is not an appropriate data source for a dashboard. D. The streaming cluster is not fault tolerant. E. The dashboard cannot be refreshed that quickly. Answer. A. 9. A data analyst creates a Databricks SQL query where the result set has the following schema. Region string number underscore of underscore customer int when the analyst clicks on the add visualization button on the sql editor page which of the following types of visualizations will be selected by default a violin chart b line chart c i bar chart d histogram e there is no default the user must choose a visualization type. Answer. C. 10. Which of the following statements about a refresh schedule is incorrect? A. A query can be refreshed anywhere from 1 minute low 2 weeks. B. Refresh schedules can be configured in the query editor. C. A query being refreshed on a schedule does not use a SQL warehouse, formerly known as SQL Endpoint. DA refresh schedule is not the same as an alert. E. You must have workspace administrator privileges to configure a refresh schedule. Answer. C. 